Welcome to Business Connection. I'm Liz Spencer. We have an interesting segment for you today. It's something that we've heard a lot about in the news, about being gluten-free. Well, we have Tiffany Hinton, founder and president, along with her husband, Will Hinton, chief technology officer, and they're gluten-free mom certified. That is one of the... A book that I'm, I'm holding up, and they have seven, but that's the whole umbrella that you guys have really shaped your life, your, your family, your business, your motto, your everything. So tell me a little bit about it and how it all began. Um, we, I actually grew up with um, health issues. Mm -hmm. So, and it was challenging. It was the tiredness. It was the, the symptomatic stomach. I never really knew what it was. You just thought, I always kind of feel bad, and this will irritate yeah, me. Yeah, and I just need a nap, and then I'll be all right. <laughs> but that wasn't the truth. Mm -hmm. That wasn't what it was. Um, so, and then I had unexplained fertility, and I was diagnosed with unexplained fertility and was told, basically, I'd never be able to have children, which at the time was okay, that's fine. But then you, as you get older, you, you, wanna, be a, you, want, you wanna be a mom at some mm -hmm. point, and you get to where you wanna fight that. Mm -hmm. And in doing so, we found out that I tested positive for the celiac um, antibodies. So, and that was by my reproductive doctor, not my gastrointestinal doctor. So I am basically an undiagnosed celiac. Mm -hmm. And by going gluten-free, we now have three children. All under like, Five, right, Will? I'm looking at you. You got, or even younger, <laughs> under three. They're they're all under three, and uh, I I was really uh, eager to be a father. And when Tiffany came home, um, basically in tears, we had been told multiple times that um, uh, parenthood was not a medical possibility for us. And I said that we we have to fight. We just have to fight. And uh, ultimately, you know, we did reach a medical professional that said that they didn't have a particular specialty in our our challenges. So, and which was helpful for us because then we were able to move on and find one of the rare specialists that we could work with. And uh, gluten was a big component of what was uh, keeping us infertile. Well, and we're just learning so much about gluten and being gluten-free and, and being intolerant and, and, and food allergies in general. And so you guys took this one step further. I mean, many of us kind of keep this to ourselves or in our family and talk among our friends, but you have put forth a series of books. I'm holding the latest one that kind of tell us about it, give us recipes, tell me what I'm going to find in all this. Yeah. They're, they're so beautifully it was, well done. It was really a necessity for us because not only with my gluten intolerance and me being lactose intolerant, two of our daughters were born with gluten sensitivities. And the oldest is also galactosemic, which is a, a lactose issue. Her liver doesn't have the enzymes to break down that protein. So in order to feed them, we had to change the way we cooked and mm -hmm. we ate at home. And in doing that modification, we compiled just a series of recipes that are gluten dairy free and people started inquiring about them. Mm -hmm. And then I actually had a close friend say, bundle them together and just sell me the book <laughs> instead of me emailing you every week. I need this, I need that. And that's kind of where it started. And then from there, we found that more of the community even needs that. So with the latest book, we've got macaroni and cheese, which is something that when you go into that gluten dairy free lifestyle, you, you think you're gonna have to give up. You don't have to. Um, chicken nuggets, you know, pie, chocolate pie. I wanted my daughters to experience the food I had from my grandma. Right, but you've just modified it, which is so smart. Because when you get into this kind of stuff, and, and I am I'm wheat-free, gluten-free by choice, you get smarter and you start preparing the favorite things, but you do it a little bit differently. Right, and uh, we both have kind of a, a, a southern country type of uh, history. I have uh, uh, relatives and ancestors from Mississippi, and I grew up personally in rural Indiana. And I had a personal relationship with most of my grandmothers and two of my great grandmothers. So I have recipes that go back generations. And we spent time making and remaking and remaking recipes until they tasted like we remember. And um, they're what I call, you know, as a guy's guy, I call them normal recipes. So you can still have burgers and fries. You can still have ribs. And, and honestly, we made them taste amazing. And uh, so our kids love them, and they, they don't notice a difference because, um, you know, we, we made it a family event, so everyone gets to participate. And, and from your friends asking you to bundle the recipes and that, you took it one step further. I mean, you've got, you're running a, a full company on this. You've mm -hmm. got seven books. You do some workshops and that. Why, why, why do all of that? How, I mean, you, it's amazing. To that, me, it's an advocacy. It's okay. sharing what I've learned. 
Um, I find from other parents that I talk to that there's a fear and anxiety when they learn their child is, child, child is allergic to something or them themselves have to change their habits. And once you get over that initial grieving process, it becomes fun again. Mm -hmm. And it's a new experience. And you may try food you never thought you'd eat. Um, and, you, and you like it, which is sometimes silly in a way. You know, you could have a fear of eggplant. And then all of a sudden, oh, you like eggplant or some other random food. Mm -hmm. But it's, um, so it evolved. But the company itself is more about being an advocate and speaking out and sharing the information that we have because other people need it. Well, I think that's so great because it is it is a learning experience. And I think you guys are, are leading the charge as we all think about where our food comes from. And, and it's been so processed coming out of World War II. And now you guys are taking us kind of back to our beginning, but modified. Um, you also are giving back to the community. Will, tell me a little bit about the charity. I love the name of it. I'd like to modify it just a bit, but I love the name of it. Tell me about it. So we support a charity called the Will Play for Food Foundation. See, I would call it we, we would play with food, but it's <laughs> Will Play for Food. Correct. And um, it helps to feed hungry children in America. So it, uh, it was started by musicians and, and athletes, but one of the, the focus uh, they have is not, not just to raise funds to feed hungry children, but they provide education and they help with the, the allergy aspects because even though a family may be resource challenged and may have to visit a food pantry, you know, your, your children and your family members can still have a, an allergic reaction. So since they pay attention to that, it's very in line with what we do. And it was a, a very, you know, kind of a blessing, if you will, to, to come in contact with them and be able to help support. So we created an entire website, a domain around it called weplayforfood.org. And if you order any of our cookbooks, then uh, a portion of the proceeds right off the top goes to that organization. That's very generous. You know, when we think about gluten-free, sometimes, you know, people say, especially when they find, you know, find out you're gluten-free, oh, you're gluten-free. But here, is, it's a lifestyle, and with you, it's cookbooks for good food, as you were talking about, so anybody can enjoy it, whether you think you're going to go gluten-free or you just want to try some great recipes. How do I find this? I, I was so excited to hear about where you it was available. You can find it on our website, which is gfmomcertified.com. We also are on Amazon, where you could go into your local Barnes & Noble and um, order it, and they'll ship it directly to you. How exciting is that? I bet you must love walking into Barnes & Noble and seeing this on the shelf. I would be thrilled. I'm so <laughs> proud of you, and I, in, in, in here I've just met you for the first eight minutes, so, but I'm very proud of you. You're helping to um, revolutionize how we look at food. For your, and you did it for your family, for your children, and now you're taking it one step further. Congratulations. Thank you, Liz. Thank you. Thanks for stopping by and sharing a little bit with us. I appreciate it. We're going to be right back with more Business Connection.